Hello and welcome to year eight in Life is Feudal Forest Village, a new beginning on our little fishing village of Old Ashton. We uh, did a little bit of terraforming here on our little starting spot, so we're actually going to rebuild, uh, I'm going to put two fields in here, I think. Let's see, how do we want to do this? You want to go a little bit smaller? Keep them to one, one person-ish fields? Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll keep them to a small one person fields. Hopefully they get built relatively quickly. We don't have a lot of guys, what I can do I can get uh, four people on, on building. Oops, I did not mean to close that. So we're getting those farms built. We want to get these farms built pretty quickly so we can get the uh, the planting in for this year. Uh, we're definitely going to need to get our hands on. We got potatoes going here. We can't we can't start planting yet, so we're actually in good shape. Uh, it'll be nice to get that done. Uh, we are going to need some flax. Since that's done, we will grow some flax here. And I might do another field of... Yeah, I think I might do another field of grass again. We'll have two fields of potatoes. We have a decent stockpile of potatoes. A lot of it's up here and not, not here, though. Um, but that's okay. I could put another uh, potato here, or we could do grass. Mm, we'll do potatoes. When in doubt, plant potatoes. Oops. Take all my builders off, put two more farmers on, and uh, it's spring, we'll get our planting going on. I don't know what they're doing. Are they stuck? They shouldn't be stuck. Go ahead and do stuff. We're getting our planting on, and we've got uh, we've got two people, two laborers doing uh, you know random laborer work. The question I have now is we have seventeen full adults. We have a slight surplus of food at this point. Do we try and grow our population now or do we wait? It's a good solid question. A lot of our firewood is, of course, here. Uh, I'm going to stop with the firewood now because I don't think we need to worry about it right now. I'm going to keep the charcoal going for a little bit. Um, but we now have... Solid, uh, solid base of firewood there. Do I do I build the house? Do I do it? Do we build a small house? Overlooking the. Uh, I'm tempted. Okay, we're going to build a small house. It's going to use up some of our, our hay. A little bit of ore, a little bit of uh, stone, not a lot. Uh, at this point, our population can grow by five. I think a small house is five. If I upgrade it, it's six. I should be able to upgrade it right away if I wanted to and go a full six growth this season. You know what'll happen is some of these people will go live in the in the small house.
and our farmers will end up living. So what will happen is the farmers will probably live here. Uh, this guy will probably live here. And uh, our gatherer's hut, which we don't have any gatherers on duty, will probably end up living there or trying to live there as well. Um, but we want to get that built first. So I'm not going to put any of the gatherers on duty yet. We'll, put, we'll officially put two builders on it. Okay. Oh, hold up here, people. Immediately, we have three people living in the place. Um, I'm contemplating doing the upgrade... Yeah, let's do the upgrade. Also improves people's happiness. So we don't, we shouldn't have to worry about it. People just have to live in their little their little shacks for right now. Their little, their little fishing shacks. Right. And so this this season we should get some flax. We should get some Oh, I need a well. I meant to build a well. meant to do that but I didn't um, let's actually go here give this well high priority and put three builders on hopefully they'll come uh, I don't know if they'll they'll f maybe finish the house first oh we're getting stuff trucked over for the well Good, we got the well done. That's great. Good, good, good. Uh, we still have three builders on. So this house should get done. Uh, they still have to haul a bunch of the uh, stuff over. It's actually going to take a lot of our stone, uh, which is bad. Um, but what I'm going to do is let's collect all the stone we can here. And we'll collect all the ore we can here as well. Since we haven't built a mine or anything like that yet. But uh, hopefully having this well here will make life easier for our colonists. This uh, farm is not quite halfway there. It's early summer. This one is not quite halfway there. And uh, we'll get some apples. How about them apples? And this house is taking a long time. It's okay, it's slowing down our growth. Uh, we aren't gathering, um, so we're not getting any gathering food in. We, we do have, you know, meat coming in from hunting. We still have some hunting going on. We actually have probably more hunters than we need right now. I'll switch over and uh, get people gathering. There we go. We've got a small house. Five of six. Now what I could do as well is I could upgrade, well, we have room for them, right? Because we have 17. So I could upgrade one of the shacks down here as well. I could I could upgrade all the shacks down here, actually. Um, and I might do that. I might upgrade at least one of them. That would give us a growth of seven people. Uh, I don't know. Do we do it? I don't know. Nah, we're not going to do it. Uh, I guess the bonus with the the shack is low pregnancy chance, happiness zero. 
Here your happiness is plus 20. Here your happiness is plus 10. And here your happiness is zero. Temporary house. Why do they call it temporary? I don't understand. They, nobody used it as temporary in my last playthrough. I built it hoping for people to use it as a temporary house because I figured that would be uh, handy. A place where people could just temporarily jump in and get warm and stuff like that. Yeah, see, we went from a almost full barn to not quite, not quite full. We've been fishing year round and our, our fish hasn't really depleted, which is good. We are bringing in our flax, so that's all going to come in probably before the end of summer, which, and we might even get another growth of flax, which would be great. And we're starting to harvest the potatoes in the northern farm, one of the southern farms, and this one is not quite there yet. I don't think we're quite harvesting yet. We might not fully harvest this field. That'll be okay. Lots of meat, fish, and veggies for you guys up there. We even have a little bit of fruit down here. Now, veggies were have none. We had no gathering coming in, so we have no veggies coming in. We're going to get veggies in the harvest, so we'll get some veggies from the harvest. But we have no gathering veggies coming in. But our fish has remained well above 2,000, which is pretty cool. And I don't see, oh, well, we got one baby on the way, and this place is fully, oh, and they had a child already. Oh, okay. So we've already, we've, our population has grown by one, I guess. And we got another baby on the way. Oh, we got builders doing nothing. Might as well get a tailor on duty. They're out there collecting stone and uh, not a lot of stone there. Not a lot of anything there, really. I should maybe collect all the uh, hay in the area as well. Yeah, we're planting flax again. We are, it's late summer, we're almost completely harvested this field. That's crazy. And same with this field. You know, a lot of veggies in our, in our upper barn. Yeah, they're going to be done here in early fall, and I guess we can have them do something else, like hunting or... Oh, let's get some roads here.
some roads between this building. All right, yeah, let's go all the way around it with. Get some roads here. We need to get some roads here as well. Some roads in between the, uh, the farms. It's uh, fall. We're, we're getting really close to finishing that harvest. This one's done. There's no point in replanting it, actually. So I'm going to take you off. And uh, same up here. There's no point replanting potatoes up here. So we'll take you guys off. And uh, you guys can help out with uh, building roads and etc. etc. Harvesting various stones. So we're still only expecting one more baby, which is not too bad. And, uh, Probably gonna have to call in the harvest of the second uh, bit of flax unless we were to go and help out. <laughs> Look at them building the roads. Oh man, you you may get there. Sixty-eight. It's gonna it's gonna switch here pretty pretty soon. Oh, you're gonna start harvesting, okay? I was just about to call in the harvest, but you're gonna do it anyway. So we're gonna get a, another uh, batch of flax, which will be great. And you're totally done, so I can take you off as well. Uh, we can definitely get oops, we can definitely get a couple people on hunting. Uh, right now, I could get another person gathering until the uh, the end of the season, which is almost coming up. It's still fall. It's not even late fall yet. I think we got a decent supply of food. We are running out of little, uh, firewood a little bit, but that's because we are making charcoal out of it. I think most people are using the charcoal uh, for their heat source and uh, cooking source. Try and keep a, a decent supply of charcoal. Eh, we'll, we'll call them the harvest, but they're already harvesting anyway. Getting a decent amount of wood in. We've got another baby born. Any expectings? I don't see any. Nope, we got another expecting. Child died during birth. Oh, that sucks. But 
But uh, we got three more, uh, three more babies to feed. We should have more than enough food to, to feed them this winter. We've got a, a bunch of fruit in that barn and a bit over here. Not too much in the way of vegetables. We have a ton of fish here because fish is our main uh, produce from here. But we do have a little bit of uh, vegetables and a little bit of fruit. So that'll help out. We can uh, definitely take off our gatherers now because they're not all that useful. We got hunters going. Take you off. So now we got a, a big uh, bulk of people that we can do some building and other things with. Um, I could make some more firewood again. We're making clothes. We want to build it's contemplating building another I don't want to uh, I don't want to really overlap with that Doesn't really want me to build one over here, does it? Oh, I can almost build one there. So close. It really doesn't want me to build a another fishing shack. I mean, I can build one all the way along here. If I, I don't know, terraform all the way out here, but bring it all to the same. I mean, let's see what happens when I do this. So that's terraformed. Can I... No. I wouldn't be able to build it. Oh, I can build it here. That is so weird. That I can build the fishing shack there. Okay, give me a second. I got to check out this terraforming here. If I do this. And actually, give me a second here. Let's not do that. Let's... uh. Terraform from, say, here. No, I don't want to do that. Let's terraform from here to, say, here. I'll see if I can get a fishing shack. I can, looks like I can build one over here. It's kind of crazy. It's pretty far away, but. Got a bunch of trees they have to chop down so they can do it. Yeah, both these barns are reasonably full. This one's really full, like 5,000 food. And this barn here has 3,000, 4,000, just a little over 4,000 food. So this barn is more stocked food-wise. All right, so it looks like they 
did that there. I think I can build a fishing shack. It was, it was saying I could build one. I can't I can't build it now. Now that I terraformed it, I can't build it. That's kind of funny. So you you can build it where you don't terraform easier than when you do terraform. That's interesting. I mean, I could build another one overlapping there, but I don't want to do that. I mean, I can get one here. We'll see how much of an overlap this is. It's not a great fishing shack because it's on land a lot of it, and it's kind of in a in a bay here. Oh, I can't quite build it. I can build it there. Okay, uh, we'll do it. We'll get another fishing shack going. Now that it's late winter. I got four children. And a fishing shack going up. Build some roads. Are we missing resources? No, it's just a matter of not having the builders. I mean, laborers do it, but I guess if you put the builders on duty, they they get it done a lot quicker. So there you go. We got uh, we got room for three more fishermen. Might as well. This this place is going to be full of the old fish. It is early spring in year nine. I hope you've been enjoying this look at life as feudal forest village. So you can see our little for no, let's get rid of that. Our little village is growing. We haven't had any major incidents yet, but it is only year nine, so <laughs> lots of major incidents still yet to come. But I hope you've been enjoying this look at Life is Feudal, Forest Village, and until next time. Delgaro.